Today we're going to be working with Jacquard Green Label Silk Dye. The colors are very intense and easy to use. And one reason they're easy to use is because we have a product called Dyset Concentrate. This is a fantastic product because it takes all the hassle out of silk dyeing. And what the difference is between the Jacquard products and other products on the market, most other products you have to steam your silk after it's dry and this becomes a real hassle sometimes because you can get water spots and uh, running colors if you don't do it exactly right. Once your Jacquard project is done, you can just take it, dip it in the dissect concentrate and voila, it's great, it's finished and it's permanent. Okay, the first thing we're going to do and we always recommend is using Synthropol. This is a product that you wash your fabric in and this removes the sizing and it makes it easy for the paint to uh, flow and to uh, be applied to the fabric. Okay, now I'm going to take my resist, which is Gouda. We've got two different kinds of Goudas and we have a water-based Gouda and a solvent-based Gouda. The solvent-based Gouda is harder to work with because it is a solvent base, but the nice thing about it is that you don't have to wait for your Gouda to dry before you paint with it. The water-based Gouda is easier to work with, um, but you do have to wait and give it a little bit of time for the Gouda to dry so you, your uh, dye doesn't run under your Gouda. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to put on your Gouda. And all you really have to do is make sure that your Gouda dispenser is at an angle and then just squeeze to the desired thickness of the line you want. After this, and you allow it to dry slightly, we're gonna take our brush and apply the dye, starting in the center and allowing the dye to flow to the edges. And this is what's really neat because uh, the Gouda is what holds the dye into your project and keeps it from flowing to other areas. The one thing I like to do is mix my colors right on the silk. You see how it's blending and flowing into the other? I was using blue and now I'm getting a really nice green because I had blue and yellow together. Another technique you can do is use Jacquard Silk Salt. What I'm doing now is applying the silk salt to the area that I just dyed, so you put it right on the wet dye. You get a starburst effect and uh, just gives it a lot of dimension to the project. Okay, another product we have is called No Flow. This is a really cool product to work with. It inhibits the flow of the dye on your silk. And why this is so neat is that you can actually paint a painting on silk like they do in a lot of the Mediterranean countries. It's very popular to actually do paintings on silk. And this product works great. You can't believe how easy silk painting is when you use Jacquard products.